the biggest thing that I wanted to bring home to you guys is that it's stormwater pollution solutions. All of us working together to implement a range of solutions. Three years ago, I was a ninth grader, just like you guys, starting my sounding off in the Puget Sound unit and doing my Puget Sound project. This is my first experience um, using my knowledge and using my skills to try and solve a real world community problem. I'm here to talk to you guys about stormwater. Stormwater is a big issue in the Puget Sound region. All of the water that falls on our rooftops, on our roads, on our sidewalks, all of that water goes down our storm drain. And for us here in Maple Valley, it goes into the Cedar River, which goes into Lake Washington, which goes into the Puget Sound. All the pollutants that it collects here affect the Puget Sound. So stormwater pollution, that's a big real world problem that we need to solve. So a team of students, a team of three students from the high school and I, we created a project called Stormwater Pollution Solutions. It was a grant to the State Farm Youth Advisory Board. The State Farm Youth Advisory Board is a board of young students who put together criteria for grants and then they, they basically award national grants to organizations across the country who are making a difference in their community. In September, we received the grant. They announced that we received $80,000. What are we going to do with that? Goal number one is to create a master campus plan for all eight schools. This master campus plan calls, requires that all eight schools in our district have 100% stormwater infiltration. Goal number two is to design stormwater related resources, a stormwater neighborhood atlas of our watershed. We start out here, we start out big in the Puget Sound, and then it scales down into Maple Valley. This would be our community here. And so we can see our community and then scale down to our individual schools. With the $80,000, we purchased a software from Esri who provides GIS um, programs and we have gifted that to the high school. The thing that's cool about this is that those students who take this on and are the first students to kind of practice the GIS technology, they get to start adding to the map center. Eventually it becomes a part of the curriculum and becomes a part of our school and we get to learn how to work with maps and how to use them to make a difference in our community. On top of that, we're also providing demonstration projects. We want to do demonstration projects that show a few of the solutions that you can do and do actual projects at a few schools. So you guys have rain gardens out in the front of your school. We're going to do um, rain gardens. We're going to do permeable pavement. So we'll have pervious sidewalk as well as some <coughs> pervious parking stalls. There's a videography class at the high school that we have partnered with and they will be videotaping the installation process for these projects. So partnering with our elementary schools, we want to hold yearly community workshops to educate the community about sustainability in our community. This year, it'll be about stormwater. We want to replicate everything that we've done here in Tahoma and other districts across the Puget Sound. You guys have all these resources. You have these videos, you have the projects, you have the GIS technology. So you guys are an example of something that worked, of a project that we implemented that made a difference in the community. So then other school districts can look at this project and look at all the steps we took and replicate some of those steps in their district. We are the positive peer pressure to those districts to make a change to be sustainable, to improve stormwater in their community. So that's your call to action. Those are all of the things that you can do. Those are your options. I urge you to go out into the world, make a difference, make your mark, and enjoy doing it. Thank you guys very much for having me today.